Welcome to Best Car Fixes. Assalamu alaikum. Today, uh, this is Muhammad Haroun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today, we are working on 2014 Jeep. Jeep Cherokee is a small one. And uh, our problem is that the shifter is on park, but the kid doesn't want to come out. And every time you change the car from park to neutral, the car, the brake catch. Here is the car. Uh, Okay, this is the car. The symptom I have is, if you sit in the car now, anytime you see the brake apply by itself, the key doesn't want to come out, you see. If I disconnect the battery or the car is like, battery is dead or like no voltage or disconnect, the, even it, dis, it, does, it will come out sometime. But no, anytime you change the car from drive, to reverse you have to to push the brake to release the brake now if I come back to drive in a few seconds I put the car in park as soon as I put in park the car um, the, the brake hold now if I come back to drive the brake is still hold I have to use it manually that means either now I want to to use WeTech, as you know WeTech from 2014. There is some uh, software that is working, but this one here is by subscription. You have to be online, and it costs about maybe hundred dollar to have it fully function, or hundred twenty to have it fully function. Some newer cards you cannot even delete the codes without. Um, without uh, having subscription because the gateway is made with the way that if you don't use the dealer tools you will not be able even to delete the codes one of the code that come back is this one EPS which is uh, electric power steering they say invalid data received from the anti-lock brake system but when I go to service here where you have to have subscription also without subscription you will not get anything and this one here is for all car you know like for fiat chrysler dash jeep a lot a lot of functions now when i put my use my vin number here it come up this the car is here jeep grand cherokee i mean jeep cherokee and if you notice you go down and this is a complete service for chrysler jeep if you want to pay three thirty dollar or something for three days you see it give you all the function all the, the the car functionality what it is you know firestone brand tire all aluminium wheel serious radio service with you know like everything trailer integrated voice command any numbers standard equipment zone US dealer retail it this is the specification of Chrysler and you need if you know if you want to fix the car the right way this is the place and on the right side you can get wiring diagram component location all this stuff here what I what I notice is that in this area here it this car have recall if you have a Jeep with this specification please they call it recall for customer satisfaction now I'm just getting confused do I have to leave this job to be taken to the dealer? It may be some of the services could be under it. And this car have only 81, maybe about 81,000 miles. Don't tell me 8,000, because some people, they don't drive cars. And unfortunately, I cannot even open the car door. Let me see the information. Maybe this car, the mileage is so low because some people, they don't drive. So I'm going to try to see, you see all this specification. And here, if you want to do service recall, service information, wiring, 
I want to go to service information and now you can go I'm just trying to see why I get only one code sometimes you can just put the code here you can just put the code and it will give you some kind of information so let me go back to my diagnosis tool and I have U0415 I'm gonna put it here U U0415 let me see what's gonna come I'm gonna leave that one but I will call I will look for this you see here now erratic shifting possible star line no crank shifting possible u0415 let me what they look for here I just click for something u04 I want to see if there's any any information will come under yes you see here u0415 you say that's you see here look at it look at it wow left front wheel speed sensor sub fault steering wheel position sensor missing calibration battery voltage circuit impossible data received from TCM okay data received from impossible data received from the ABS yeah okay erratic shifting possible U015 you know when you have uh, people this is why I give uh, um, you know like I always support dealer access information it will help a lot you see like this here it show you what you need to do at least so erratic shifting possible okay let me go down engine harness wrap through wrap through has been found where the engine harness cross over the rear engine mount before it goes into ABS module reference the location figure below when diagnosed one or of this list cause that means you have to go under let me let me highlight this okay you have to go under here and look at this area you see where it show so what I realize is that after I go and I put the U U15 U4 U0415 which is the code that I got it into this car it say that in this area here in this figure area you have to take you see in this area here exactly this you see this is a water cooler in this area here you say you will get some maybe wiring problem hmm the engine harness rub through rub through has been found where the engine harness cross over the rear engine mount before it goes into the ABS module reference okay and maybe that's the one that creating all this trouble I don't know and it give you all this code not only erratic shifting I cannot do anything with it so let me put more dash zero zero yes that's it now this is maybe is the same thing but Oh my goodness. Steering, steering stiff, low assist, intermittent cluster warning lamp, chim make sound, da da da, U15. If the custom complaint match the above or intermittent DTC are found, the EPS system inspect the connector and pin at the EPS first. First look for bent pushed or expanded pins if okay then 
inspect the ground location G95. I don't know. G95. You believe this is tough? Wow. Wow. So here, what we learn from this, if you have a problem in Chrysler, please buy, 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 buy this subscription and start working on it. You know, like in this, in this area here, it's like kind of, kind of so informative and uh, <clears throat> it's for informative and this is how we can learn from it. Also, Major electric power steering, electric parking brake. You see here also we have electrical parking brake. It gives you some information. Impulsive that received from ABS performance or incorrect operation. Continuous with the ignition on. Receive least one can bus. We have parking brake. Module detect an incorrect can message from the anti lock brake system. Electric parking brake module, canvas, body control module, this is anti brake system, electric brake. So, this also turn ignition on with the scan tool, record the DTC, cycle the ignition on. Wow. Also, it give you a space by space check for body control module, BCM, uh, DTC. Hmm. I don't have this code, but here we just learn for from from this uh, information how you can work with those cars and see what happened. Right now we have a problem where um, they say that if you have this U code and communication, you have to look under. And also I realized that under the car, this car was parked for one place for a couple of months. Maybe rod or mouse or the way that we found the picture have to go and look for it. Also you can write down ignition uh, not coming out ignition is stuck key is stuck or key ignition key is stuck in ignition key stuck ignition search There is keyword. Anyhow, I have an idea like what's going on or what we need to do. I'm gonna do another things, but this is the idea for it. I will see if he can take it to the dealer to get uh, some service, or I will go and look for the the codes and data and then we take it from there thank you for watching mobile electro this is just an idea how you can approach and and, and repair those car here also i want to show you how it work okay look here if you click on tech authority online or service library the, the subscription is three days and what is self alfa romeo chrysler dash fiat jeep lancia ram wagner all this maybe you're going to be legacy 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 brand please i'm talking about if you are specialized you see <laughs> i see eagle something here i don't know what it is and volkswagen too ram rotunda oh, that's ram ram rot uh, rm rot rotan that's like rotan is like uh um, cross the town and country the same thing like you know so I'm gonna go here and as you know this is my car 
but I'm talking about it now <clears throat> that I choose and here is the recall so this is a quick information how you go with it right now I'm going to work on that on that issue and why the key is not coming out of the shifter and I will look for my ignition you know my ignition switch my advice here if you are a technician and you are specialized on Jeep Chrysler Dash please get a subscription from Tech Authority which is this this site here let me show you where it's you're gonna go here come and pay three days you can get all wiring diagram anything you want let me show you on the bottom you see here if you want to buy more I have two days remaining but if you want to buy a subscription you know like you can go and pay for it and get it so thank you very much for watching please subscribe share and like and see you in another video this is Muhammad Haru always follow the right information spend a little bit of money you will learn more and save money and till then be safe yes have a cool salam